Hey friends, so last night before bed I saw the gut-wrenching photo of the father and his daughter drowned in the Rio Grande, trying to cross from Mexico into the U.S. And it, as it did so many of us, reminded me of Alan Kurdi, Syrian Kurdish boy washing up on the shores of Turkey, trying to escape violence, trying to make it to a better life. I'm sick of seeing kids washed ashore. That, that little girl was tucked under her dad's t-shirt as a way to keep her safe, as a way to help her hold on to his neck while he swam. Well, but we have laws. Is it okay to break our laws? I'm, I'm hearing so much of that. If, if your first response when seeing a dead child is, well, they should have obeyed the law, I, I just plead with you to reconsider your position. I, I plead with you to think about how bad things must be that you would take such a risk to where the risk doesn't even seem like the worst thing. The thing behind you, the thing chasing you, is what seems so scary, that the risk that your child would die swimming across a powerful river seems like the lesser of scary things you're facing today. Look, a, a, a single moving photo of a dead child and a dead dad trying to save his family's life that, that doesn't make any one presidential administration guilty. It doesn't make the Syrian government guilty. It wouldn't have made the Obama administration guilty. It wouldn't make Trump's administration guilty. But here's, here's what we have to reckon with. Are we as a people going to invest ourselves prop up, support, cheer, and champion the love of power? Or are we going to invest ourselves, give ourselves over to, take a chance on the power of love? The love of power will get us a certain kind of culture, a certain kind of country, a certain kind of machismo, a certain kind of arrogance, a certain kind of policy, and a certain kind of response. The love of power cuts off aid. The love of power calls people animals. The love of power has no compassion. The love of power cages children and has no regard for their most basic needs. The love of power lies and obfuscates, but the power of love, that's a whole different thing. The power of love makes us cross the river ourselves to go help those in need. The power of love makes us give our life away. The power of love makes us stand up and be counted. The power of love shows up. Preemptive love is on the border. Both sides, in Juarez, in El Paso, we're responding. We believe in the power of love. This is a humanitarian conversation. There are humans involved. There are humans in need, and they are not getting what the power of love requires that they receive as brothers and sisters and friends. So we're responding. We'd love for you to invest with us in the power of love. and subvert our more base impulses to love power. Will you join us? Thanks. <laughs>